okay, the direction by A. R. Murgados is, uh, you know, it's kind of loud and loud, loud, loud. I mean, uh, I saw it at a multiplex where the walls were almost shaking. And there is no kind of finesse or sweetness about it. I think perhaps in the moment shared between Amir Khan and Asin, there are some directorial touches which are tender, like when they're sitting by the seaside and talking to each other. But even then, you can see that they're sitting there for the camera effect. They're sitting on top of the bench instead of on the bench. So why? Why do people sit on top of the bench? It's just to get that pretty shot. So I don't think the direction is as... Uh, high class as it could have been. See, I think the background music went haywire. It really sort of signaled everything which was to happen. It was like a trailer to what was coming on next. So when background music is obtrusive, it doesn't work. Uh, among the songs, I think many of them are sort of rehashes of his Tamil songs earlier. Jia Khan does some absurd song called Men Like Two or something, which I think they did the right thing perhaps by editing it off because Neither were the sets very exciting. It was black once and it was white once and she can't move very far. But I think she's a gifted actress. She's a very young actress and when they exploit her youth, especially when she runs on the streets, you care for her, you know. She really does it well. But yeah, the Guzarish song worked well. As for the picturizations, I don't know. Everyone keeps running off to the desert nowadays to do these numbers. And uh, I think Shah Rukh Khan did earlier once, long time back with... Uh, Kajol and now Amir is back to the deserts wearing these dupattas and trying to look young and I think he's a very very fine actor and he should play his age and he should play roles which are uh, you know which have a sense of purpose because we do look up to him for say some kind of extra edge after Tare Zameen Par. But here he's like there almost throughout the film and you almost want some relief from him. You want to know more about Asin, where did she come in from, where her parents are, what they're doing. They're all kind of shadowy and all you know is Amir Khan is a corporate guy but do corporate guys go around this way with these kind of executives trailing them and if I'm eating a watermelon on the street, can I tell 10 executives? Just go away. You can't. It's all absurd. So there's a blend of the real and there's a blend of the absurd. And when you blend those two, it doesn't quite work. And Amir Khan, I think, is a bit miscast. I think this role demanded a kind of a Sunny Dio, Lakshay Kumar or Sanjay Dutt. Asin has done a lot of films in the South from uh, what I gather. I haven't seen any. I'd seen the original of Gajni and that's where I saw her. Uh, she's good. She's a typical masala film heroine. She has the right face, the right cosmetics, the right hairstyle. Though I couldn't fathom much of her acting talent except in one scene where she's being terrorized in her apartment and she's shocked. Uh, I, I saw a bit of quiver and shivering there which wasn't overdone. She got it right. So yeah, Asin is nice. I think she'll go places. See, I would give uh, Gajani two stars because it's expected, it's average, it's a typical pot boiler made with lots and lots and lots of money. It'll probably earn lots of money, but then commercial, being commercially successful doesn't guarantee that it's a good film quality-wise that had too many questions.